Hey there Bulldog Country, this week we're talking with Junior on the women's soccer team, Natalie St. Martin, about the season so far as well as her journey as a Bulldog. For UMD, take another look at it, Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Point flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Hi, I'm Natalie St. Martin. I'm a junior on the women's soccer team. I'm from Matamida, Minnesota, and I'm majoring in industrial engineering. So this season, the soccer team has seen quite a bit of success. Your record overall is 7-4-1, and one. and not only that, but every loss that you've had has only been to a one-goal deficit compared to last season where you did see higher deficits. What has the secret been this season that you guys are just clicking and working better together? Well, first of all, we're a much older team. We have a lot more juniors and seniors than we have in the past couple of years. We just have a lot more team chemistry this year. I think we all have the same expectations and goals. And this upcoming weekend, you will face Southwest Minnesota State as well as Sioux Falls on Saturday and Sunday here at Mulaski Stadium. What can the fans expect to see from the Bulldogs this weekend? Definitely a lot of energy. I think we're just going to come out and try to compete for every minute of the game. And are you guys excited to be at home after being on the road for so long? Definitely. It's always nice to play at home, so I'm excited for that. Looking ahead a little bit, after this weekend, there is only four games left in the regulation season. Can you tell us what the Bulldogs are doing to prepare for postseason and what your hopes are for postseason play? Yeah, well, it's definitely crucial to be in the top eight in order to make it to playoffs. So I think we're just trying to get as many points as we can in these next uh, few games so that we can hopefully get a good seed within those top eight teams. And you, would you say you are in a good spot right now to make playoffs? I mean, we're safe right now. I think we're in seventh or eighth, but we'd like to jump up a few places for sure. You are from Matamidi, Minnesota, and you do have a teammate, Erica Yort, who is also from Matamidi. You guys have been playing on the same soccer team since you were four years old. How does it feel to have a teammate and a friend that you've known for this long at the college level? It's just been a ton of fun. I mean, we're like best friends, so obviously that's awesome. And then we just have so many things to share, like soccer experiences and just been able to see each other improve. And would you say that you can see that kind of chemistry on the field between you guys? Uh, maybe a little bit, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there are certain times she definitely sends me our one ball that we definitely have planned and we've always done, but it's hard because we're kind of on opposite ends of the field. <laughs> So moving away from soccer a little bit, you are additionally a member of the UMD women's club hockey team and you play at this rink here behind us. What made you decide to join the women's club hockey team in addition to being on the soccer team? Um, I definitely just missed playing hockey. I really missed it. So I decided to join the team and I loved every moment of it. And last year was your first year with the team. Can you give us a little recap of last season? Yeah, it was just a ton of fun. I got to meet a bunch of new girls and I just had a really good time. And with practices and tryouts and games already underway for this club hockey season, what are the expectations that you and the rest of that team have? You could definitely say we want to make it back to nationals this year and hopefully bring home some hardware. So on top of being a member of the soccer team and the club hockey team, you are also an industrial engineering major. Can you tell us what your secrets are for managing being a two-sport athlete and having such a rigorous course schedule? Yeah, so having such a rigorous schedule and having everything kind of planned out definitely helps me stay focused. And also all of my teammates are super studious, so they kind of motivate me to study even on away trips. And then lastly, what has been your favorite memory as a Bulldog so far? It was probably playing Augustana last year in playoffs. Uh, even though we lost, it was fun because it was my first experience in playoffs as a Bulldog. Now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Natalie a little bit better outside of soccer and hockey. So we're going to ask a series of rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Oh yeah. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you choose and why? I would be a dolphin because I love to swim. Who is your favorite professional athlete? Um. Be a ham. If you could pick up and move anywhere in the U.S., what city would you choose and why? 
probably Miami or somewhere warm. What is your favorite place to eat in Duluth? The tavern. Who is the funniest person you know? Claire Pushner. What is your dream travel destination? Somewhere in Africa. Last but not least, if you were stranded on a deserted island and had to choose only one of your teammates to be stranded with, who would you choose and why? Erica York, because we are both Girl Scouts, so I think we have some good survival skills.